Well, and then they do really like more this really no. This is like an intro video. Yeah. So welcome back to Astral Chain. So like that's one of the monsters we fight. Owen Thomas, <laughs> that's his this voice is actor. Freaking anime. Like, oh, Cassandra Lee Morris. No way. Who's that? She voices uh, Julia in Fire Emblem Heroes and a few others. Uh, okay. And so this as well. You're gonna have to tell me if it sounds familiar. Well, we'll see if she uses the same, like, cadences in her voice. This just seems... Like this scene is sick, though. It's not Japanese, even though it kind of sounds like it. I know. A lot of the games that you play are very similar, I've noticed. In what? Um... I mean, like, this This looks very close to Xenoblade in a lot of ways. Um, the only similarity I've really found is the fact that you can get more of these guys as the thing goes on. What? Uh, you can get, like you see, also dead mouses here. Um, yeah. you get more of the legions as you move on. Um, mm. like, you get one that shoots arrows. <coughs> Which you saw me playing with before we started. It's not like the the minor similarities. It just looks like the same type of game. It's like is that the only no? Thing this is you this play? is really really different. How so? Uh, well, the entire scenario is different. It's more technologically advanced. Oh, the story is like the setting, yeah, but the gameplay just looks very similar. Oh no no no! The gameplay in this is incredibly different. Cause in this game, you there's a lot more to attacking than just. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, sorry, I, I'm making sure I'm clicking all that right. But there's a lot more to <laughs> attacking option. and dodging in this game rather mm -hmm. than just auto attack and then you press a button at the right time with Xenoblade. This one's a lot more you have to position yourself. Um, yeah, but you're, it's, it's still like a third person hack and slash shooting. This is not a hack and slash. I don't know. It's just there are too many similarities to overlook, and you're focusing more on like the minor differences. I'm not. The combat is completely different. The combat in this is way, way, way more advanced. This game is more of a cutscene than Sonic Forces. Hey, but like you'll see, if they made this into a movie, it wouldn't be a bad movie. No, but like, why would I want to play a game that's a movie? Like, also, her hair sticks out so much, and I hate it. <laughs> all right, so this is just exposition. Yeah, that's all this game is. <laughs> this is this is where he tells us about like the situation that the world's in, the and then we he, we wow. get into the special forces, the special police force called Neuron, and that's where everyone has a stand. Okay, so here's ah, sorry. And then I think the union is like some upper class. We should skip all the cutscenes. Or not. Or, yeah, because it's going to make the game take so much longer if we're just sitting here watching something. So, he, he talks about, like, how he's got to be more flexible, even though we're, like, his kids. And he's my favorite character, Max is. And then that's what we're fighting, all these different boyos. Yep. Uh, is this where he does it? Yeah, that's what the arc looks like. Which is actually okay. pretty cool. Can't really see with the uh, the big paws in the way, but. All right, and then. That guy looks exactly Jim Wong. like you, except for. Yeah, kind of. I guess, except his face is. Except he has glasses and a beard. He looks like an older version of you. All right. Um, I don't know if I told you about this, but did you know that New Hope isn't allowed to have beards? I I heard any it was... facial here. Well, it's like no facial hair. Your hair length has to be below a certain amount, and um, it can't go uh, past your earlobe. If you breathe too heavily, then uh, it's probably detention. So, anyway, so um, New Hope is like a freaking super restrictive school. Like, anyway, so I forgot my razor when we went to our cabin, and so did my dad. And he said, "You know what you should do? You should see how far you can go without them telling you to shave your hair." And then this is just them wow, bantering. Wow, black lady. Get the N-word pass from her. Alicia, Alicia Lopez. Yeah, get the N-word pass from her. Anyway, they just talk about how he's concerned for us. What conversation are you having right now? Like, 
No. Are, you, are you talking I'm, about I'm the talking game about or the your game. Razor experience? I'm talking about... Right now, they just talk about how Max is concerned for us, and then they won't make it to training because they wanted us to talk about other things that aren't the game. Because that's all we've talked about for the last half an hour. You know what? Shut up, Dalton. Anyway, so I managed to go fourteen days, and then my dad like told them to tell me to shave it because he was salty because I'd gone for so long, and he didn't think I'd be able to go for that long. What? Shut up, Aiden. Anyway. And then we go here, and then here's the tarot card girl back here, along with that. And just as the cards foretold, the fool indicates new beginnings, the lovers new bonds. Yeah, the lovers indicates freaking L that lovers? getting beat up. And, and yeah. I'm literally going to skip all of this tutorial work. Nice. And then they're just like, oh yeah, they couldn't make it. And then they this is where they give us like... They didn't even give you anything! Like, wow, yeah, and but the this invisible is, boat mobile. This is where they give us the, uh, like, the second, like, the thing that we can pull up. And it's called, uh, Luna? Or, no, it's all, it's called Iris. And it stands for something, but it's where we have to put our, uh, legions where we can't, um, when we're not in the field. Dude, our poor viewers go. between the exposition from you and the exposition from our game... You told me to give them exposition. Screw you. I and told you to sometimes explain what's going on, not, like, All fill right. their heads with so much information that it's going to make them explode. Dodging is fun. Anyway, so I'm not going to do any of these. It just goes through all of this stuff. <laughs> and then... Yes. 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 Are you sure I you am. want to end the training? Yes, I am. And I get like nothing for that because I didn't do anything. But <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Screw you. The Jimmy Neutron officers. Oh yeah. So this is like some of the music in this will make you think you're playing Call of Duty, and then the rest of the music will make you feel like you're playing something completely different. Because it sounds like Call of Duty music. I Sometimes I've never really played a Call of Duty game. Really? Yeah. I the first like shooter that I got into was Halo, so which, in my opinion, is a much better game. But you know, see, I think it just depends on which one you play first. I mean, it's definitely what you're going to be like used to. Depends on what you think is better. But I, Call of Duty, just seems generic i guess like halo at least has like its own theme and atmosphere going on and it has like unique modes and stuff but call of duty is just like wow we're in the military and we have a gun and we shoot people it's also like, halo is an overarching story yeah halo has a really good story mode or at least the first few do um, like the world rings and everything uh was there something around here that i was gonna do oh yeah this all right so, so this just gets you some extra nice go explore garrick mock here and uh i mean uh <laughs> garrick mock yeah no this is much smaller than garrick mark uh ah, <laughs> garrick mock garrett mark it's like a, some just guy it's like a quarter of the size yeah but this has elevators and garrick mock just has elevators. boarding stairs so this is this is clearly the superior uh overworked medic like the uh, the the descriptor or the descriptor yeah, that it puts on. Some we get of these. their names and stuff too. Like his real name is Gabe, Gabe Barker. Gabe See, Baker. there's really American, and then there's Mexican names, and then there's like everything in between. Alan. And we're gonna go here. And I wish I was as powerful as that guy because he can open the locker just by staring at it and looking like it's his turn on the Xbox. Gotta customize our character. <laughs> That's important. It's literally all I want. What costumes are there? Um, I don't know. I think you just get them uh, through unlocks in the game. We have to do this as like stupidly as possible. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't like her character specifically for all the hair. She looks like Bella Delphine. <laughs> she looks like Hilda. She kind of does. She looks like Bella Delphine, but missing like a chromosome. <laughs> Or maybe with an extra chromosome, I'm not quite sure. Bellofine's probably missing several. Well, yeah. I have a lot of gamer girl bath water to sell. Anyway, so gates are the, like, dimensional portals that they come through, which is probably something that we skipped in a cutscene. 
Alright. Like I said, you're probably going to win because you have that lady on the team who can say the N-word and blow up everything immediately. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say the N-word and the enemies are like, man, you we can't all do say the N-word, the not because it's racist, because you're black, but because I would die and she's like... In, and then she actually says the word though that's like the the, the the trick and then they all just explode immediately and you win the game so it's like yeah keep her alive is what i'm saying uh she actually becomes pretty useless in a little bit but we do get her well. hat <laughs> you get her hat no well, we get we get the same hat that she's wearing and i and it's actually pretty cool i'm just saying it's literally someone, what uh no keep I was saying, if saying. someone's walking down the stairs, I'm going to, like, yeet out. I'm going to duck out. You're, I already told your parents that you're recording in it. Really? Because they asked. Like, well, so much for that. <laughs> and your dad was like, and he's like, he said that uh, I, I, I'm i talking to them, and I'm like, Dalton said that you guys were going to disown him if you found out you were wearing it, and they laughed, and your dad said, oh, we haven't disowned him yet. <laughs> Yeah, this is why Spencer's never allowed to go upstairs because he he, he talks to the police, so to speak. Yeah, your parent, you're just jealous because your parents like me more than they like you. I don't think that's true. That's not true. I was gonna say, that's like me saying that your dad likes anyone. Correct. <laughs> so uh, anyway, the helicopters are like the freaking coolest because they just have like that ring. Yeah. And they never explain how they work. It's probably okay. So, do you know like those um the Dyson Airblades? Uh, no. Okay, so they're like these like little fans or maybe air purifiers. I forget what they are, but they don't have any blades. They're just like a ring, and they it works as a fan, and it's really cool. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I think the Dyson Airblades a hand dryer maybe, but it's oh, it's, it's something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I also really like the um, HUD in this game. And then we thank the bus driver in Fortnite drop in. <laughs> Alright, boys, where are we dropping? With me and the squad. Alright, I need to get my John Wick skin and my pickaxe. Like, look, your angles would shatter. No, he has the, um, he has the long fall boots from Portal. And then we just all take ours out and then slap them on our wrists. <laughs> and then there I am. The last of the party. Nice. Alright, it's time to do 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 Anyway, so then we go up. Those guys are, like, not cool people. <laughs> That's what they get, though. So, this is a bridge that got knocked down. And then, guess what that is? A Lego building site. No. Okay. That's what uh, part of the radiation left behind looks like. That guy, that guy should keep an eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we just got to do this basically. And oh, then, use your scan visor, yeah. Like I said, it's a lot of uh, just hitting everything. Yeah, they say put the text red shift in red. How funny. No, that's not the only reason they do it. And then we're just going to clean this off. Oh, you missed some there. <laughs> and then this. Yeah, it's a handprint. This plays a lot like a Lego game. The size of the red uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. What? In what aspect? Because you just had that guy clean up a mess, and then you also were able to shoot things that auto-targeted. No. Yes, it's, it's a Lego game. incredibly this, different. This is a rip-off of Lego Star Wars 2. I'm going to punch you in the throat. Also this, so we can just kind of... This is what happens when I let my dog off my leash. Are these guys standing there right now, or are they... Yeah, they're standing there right now. Okay. See? And then... So they can't see the legion, so we just kind of chill over here. Your your guy is like freaking out there. He's like, yeah, because they're you gotta understand they're basically the aliens invading this world, but chained. <laughs> that sounds dangerous, but yeah. Yeah. So anything that's a hint, we kind of just put in our uh, objective, and then we can just. 
Alright, so... Now when you get the 25 kill streak, you get to get the nuke, so... You get the nuke. Giant hands. Alright, so... And then it talks about how we drag someone through the portal. And then it shows this cutscene. You know, this game plays a lot like Fire Emblem. It looks a little bit like it, but no, it doesn't. There is no turn-based movement or anything. This does not play like any game that I've ever played. Except for LEGO Star Wars 2. I will ninja chop you in the face. Yeah. I will ninja chop you IRL. Yeah, come at me, you cheeky wanker. Oh no, it's no not November. Good. Yeah. Anyway, so just... And then we kind of use them as a bloodhound. Whee! We just use them as a bloodhound here. It's literally it. Wow. We split up, and they, for some reason, put the newbies together. That's a good idea. Let's split up and look for clues. This is a ripoff of Scooby-Doo. How did I know you were going to say that one? Because you're a ripoff of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. At some point, I, I think this is on r slash shower thoughts, but eventually uh, having a new idea will be like winning the lottery. I mean, I mean, I think Vsauce actually made a video on that about how many things are there, and if you count ideas, there's so many that everyone could think of a new thought every second, and up until the end of the like heat death of the universe, you'd still have new ideas. Well, as technology progresses, so does what we think is possible. I mean, do you think that you could have more than one thought per second? Yeah, I can speak more than one word a second. That's technically having more than one thought. I mean, the words make up one coherent thought, like... I have a lot of thoughts, but... Oh yeah, this. And so... Yeah, this is the thing that they said, oh yeah, don't fight this. And then we proceed to fight this big gorilla monster. Basically... I am monkey. Yeah. I'm monkey, except I have a big head because I'm powerful. Also, uh, and then the cops can see him, and then the cops die. <laughs> That's what they get for having vision. We're just gonna do this. I don't understand what's going on. It looks like you're just mashing buttons. Well, that's because I didn't do anything. So what I did... Oh, I got hit by the second one. So then the cops just turn into... I think it shows a cutscene. Yep, there they go. I wonder if that would hurt. Oh yeah, probably. Like I said, you get, you get something eventually that just lets you one-shot these... What about your T-pose there? What what T-pose? You're, no, your guy who can T-pose with two swords and spin like a helicopter. Uh, he cannot one-shot them. That's boring. Oh, well, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so we you just, just gotta, gonna, like... Oh, got him again. You just gotta battle a hawk, this guy. Wrap your guy around his legs and trip him. It It's really effective to do that, actually, because it literally just makes them not able to attack. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we can't do that anymore. <laughs> I didn't wow. actually know there was a limit on it. Breaking chains. You know, I mean, like I said, if, if any of you in the audience, assuming that anyone's watching this, um, no... Hopefully. I hope people are. It's a pretty good game. I mean, yeah, but it's... Uh, after the first episode, good luck. Um, assuming you're watching this... If you guys, like, happen to know what oh, the heck is going on right now, I applaud you, because this is... So, we're fighting this guy who was part of... He's the reason that someone oh, no, no, got... Oh, no, Not just with the story. I mean, like, what's going on in the combat, because it looks like... Uh, you well, I tried to explain that, and then you told me not to. I mean, yeah. Sometimes it's better. So, like, like it, it's explained in the tutorial a lot, too. But attacking, you attack with this button. You switch weapons with uh, up and down here. And then you send your legion out with uh, LZ. 
And then you control your legion by hitting LZ and the right stick at the same time. Mm -hmm. You move your character with the left stick. Camera's also controlled with the right stick when you don't have your legion moving. And then you can swirl things up to close them. And let's see, is there anything around here that I can use? What's this? Hmm. Oh, it's just, oh yeah, this is trash. When is the next breaking point? Because we're at 20. Uh, I say we go 25 minute episodes for this game, because it's a bit longer than what we're used to. Hopefully, we came out of there. Hopefully if we actually skip like a lot of the I can also stuff, do this. Can... Oh, well, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> so, um, it lets you do something called a jump. Wow, <laughs> creative name. Yeah, it's called a chain jump, where basically you just send your legion out in front of you, and then you hit, uh, at the same time as you're holding down ZL, you hit ZR, and then we just... Iris, Iris. Close. And then, shoopity whoopity 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 whoop. There they go. <laughs> that's completely painless. Well, that's what they want you to think. No, it, that's what they tell us. In reality, you're actually the bad guys in the... That's actually one of the things in this game, is that they say, uh, one of the antagonists, I think it was in the trailer, at one point, it's like, are you sure what you're doing is right? No! <laughs> we were oh, at Well, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you're right. It's a nice little bath. It's a hot tub. We. Oh, <laughs> ow, that actually... Fr oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, maybe that was ill-advised. Me, when you accidentally moved the shower handle, like, 0. 0.5 centimeters <laughs> too long. <laughs> too long. So, can you control that guy? Or yeah, I, I told you. I can, I can send him with... You send it out using, uh... ZL, and then, oh, there's a staircase there. Um, and then you control it by pressing ZL and the right stick at the same time. But you can ah. also move at the same time. So you can just kind of do this. <laughs> Whoa. Can you, like, make him spaz out? What, the... Yeah, the stand. Oh, yeah, of course. Wee. <laughs> Wee. And we're just going to boop. And then this is where they give us kind of, like... Because well, she I can't see really it. Easy. Hey, we... I need a better voice actor. Yep. Oh, well, hold up. That's not the right one. Oh, he just got eaten. Mm, not eaten. I don't think many of these have mouths, actually. Oh, I can't shoot it. Yeah, what's it doing? It's just, like, absorbing it's... them. No, it's pulling them into the... Uh... I think I told you that it's just called... The uh, astral plane. It just pulls them into the astral plane. Oh, wait, hold up. What am I doing? Yeah, you gotta have uh, Captain T pose. Oh, yeah, he just kind of. Yeah, that's what I say. Like, every time he attacks and you do like, your finisher or whatever. I mean. Oh, we were synced up with Yeah, you guys were like basically the same person, which is. We're twins. Because I like to use this more because the gun doesn't put them in hit stun either, so they can just kind of advance on you. Use your neutral special and wield a gun. You don't mind if I do this real quick, do you? No, you don't. Oof, ouch. Alright, well, so much for that guy. Oh, there's another one. Immediately delete this. <laughs> so, is your sister the other person you could be playing as? Yes, okay. that is how... Okay. That is how it usually does. You know, and I forget what part we do this at, but there's a part where we have to like defend civilians, and it's like actually pretty difficult to keep them alive. Yeah, well, just pull a fire emblem and let them die. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's what they get for standing there. You know what this part, this bridge reminds me of? The Bridge of Elton. No, the one part in the map right here. The one map in Team Fortress 2 that you can just kind of sit on. And no what? R attacks can... No. Uh, the, like, weird, like, neon lights one. Oh, um, um, Kong King? 
Yeah, that one. Yeah. So there's one of those guys that we fought earlier. Now he has no exposition. Uh, I'm so, I'm upset that they don't let me do legion attacks, which are basically just like super powerful chain attacks, and I'm getting the crap beat out of me. Oof. Okay, retard. Okay, buddy, retard. Mm. Ah, yes, I love it when my camera doesn't function. Dude, the cameraman needs to, like, stop phasing into the walls, turn off some no clip here. Oh, there we go. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's just Red Rover, Red Rover, send this guy right over. Can we just beat the game only doing that? No, it doesn't damage them. Uh. What in the world is going on? <laughs> So I dodged, and I did like a perfect dodge, where you know, if you dodge like, right before it hits, you're you You're making get that. these guys like spin in circles. Oh, you can do more ridiculous stuff. Like, I at one point kept an enemy in the air for like 30 seconds. This guy's just like, ah. Uh, Ooh, ouch. I have heart. massive headaches. This does not look good. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you for that astute observation. And then they huh. like, oh yeah, sending you alone again will be a very good idea. I was gonna say let's split up, gang, but I think I already said that. So. You already said that, but it, okay. it's still funny. In Scooby Doo, have you ever noticed how it's like, all right, gang, let's split up and look for clues. Daphne and I will go on one team and check out the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby, you go check out the basement. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, and then this happens. Suck. Hmm. Dead. Alright, you can go ahead. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>